Hi everyone, today we'll be going over some uh, basic data mining and machine learning algorithms. Uh, I'm just going to be giving a, a brief overview of how Weka works and we'll be using a data set called the IRS data set. It's, uh, it's used basically for, uh, for introductory uh, data mining classes and uh, on, in, uh, on just, just to give an overview of an algorithm and uh, how these things work. So and for this video we'll just be going over some basics of uh, how to uh, run a neural network and uh, the surgeon trees and uh, random forests in Weka. So let's get to it. So over here we're gonna open Weka. You can download it from the University of Weka 2 website. Let's wait for it to open. Okay, there we go. Um, we need to go on Explorer. And this is like a Explorer. It's a GUI based interface, so it's very easy for uh, new users. What we want to do is we want to open a file, but you can also open a URL, a database, or you can generate your artificial data, which I think is very cool. So uh, let's open a file. Uh, I have the RS data set saved on my desktop, so I'm going to be using that. And here, in the pre-process uh, tab, you can actually visualize the data set. You can see the sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width are the four attributes that we have. And then we have a class attribute, which is our target variable. And it has three classes over here, setosa, vesicula, and vagenica, 50 count each. We can also take a look at the data set itself over here. And we can see that there are no missing variables and basically a very clean data set. Okay, so let's get to classification. Uh, we go to the classify tab. We choose the classifier that we want to run. Uh, we're going to be running a decision tree first. Uh, run a forest, actually. It's a bunch of decision trees or decision stumps. Uh, we're going to be using a percentage split for our training. The for training the algorithm, we'll be using two thirds of the data set, and uh, the remaining one third will be used for uh, testing it. And our target variable is class. And uh, hit start. And there you go. It took about 0.28 seconds, which was uh, fast, extremely fast. <laughs> Would be how our data set was really small, so that was fine. Uh, this is something that we're interested in, the confusion matrix. Uh, over here, we can see that A is equal to RS Setosa, and over here, classified as is A, so which means that our RS Setosa, our, uh, our classifier, our algorithm actually classified all of the Citosa instances correctly. It also classified all of the uh, vesicular instances correctly. But in Iris Virginica, we can see that two of our instances were actually classified as vesicular. So over here in the summary, you can see the correctly classified instances as 96%, a little over 96%. And we had two incorrect classification instances, which is rather good. I mean, this is not a bad number by all means, but let's run a different kind of classification algorithm, which is a neural network or sometimes called multi-layer perceptron because there are uh, multiple layers of perceptrons being used in this algorithm. And this is a simple visual understanding of a neural network. These are the input nodes, which are our four attributes. Uh, then we have some hidden nodes, and we get outputs as whether it's a vesicular, 
Satosana or the other one. And uh, each of these nodes is basically a uh, logistic regression algorithm, which is a sigmoid function. I'm not going to go too much into it, but it's just a visual understanding of uh, uh, a neural network. And we are again going to be using the same percentage split and everything. Our target variable is again class. Let's start. And there you go. And uh, our model. These are the, uh, this is the actual model that we have. We have the weights, we have the inputs, we have all the nodes, and then we have the classification nodes at the end. Okay, so our neural network actually performed a little better than our uh, random forest algorithm. We only class uh, misclassified one uh, uh, Virginica as a vesicular, which is rather good. So we have a 98 percent uh, correctly classification uh, classified instances and this is better than the random forest and one thing to note about uh, neural networks is that it gets better as more data is uh, given to it and uh, this will be the end of uh, this video at least I'll be making another one with R and uh, uh, the same data set and some other algorithms thank you for watching